Hey everybody, it's Juanita McDowell with Marketing and Tech Tips. I'm excited about a new segment we're doing called Ask Juanita. And today a student wants to know how to place their signature on a regular PDF document. So let me show you how. I'm going to ask you to open up an app called Signature. Looks like that. Turn your phone to landscape. Tap the pencil. This is why it's free. Move the scrubber all the way over. Use a stylus or your finger to give me a signature. There we go. And then I'll hit download. Notice success. Say OK. Now I just downloaded it to Photos. So let's go to Photos and see if we can find it. I'm in Photos. And there it is. Okay, so now I'm going to email it to myself. Ah, there it is. Open it up. All right, so when you, it opens up into your photo editor, you can edit and create, edit, crop, and all that other good stuff. And I'm actually not going to do that, but feel free to edit if you want to. I simply want to save it. So I'm going to come here and save. And I'm going to call this Signature Test. Save it on my desktop so I can find it. Step one, sign your name. We're using an app called Signature. Step two, email it to yourself. Step three, open the PDF. Now, I always use PDF Escape whenever I'm working with a PDF document that needs editing. That's what I've always used. I've used it for years. It's a free application. It allows me to fill out a PDF. Even if it's a fillable PDF, I use this. And I also use this for, especially when I have to drop a signature into a PDF document. Use the free online. Click. Now where it says upload PDF, I'll do that. I'm gonna upload an old contract. I'm gonna to go to the bottom where it needs a signature. And there's where my signature is required. Now, PDF Escape works like this. You see in the, in the left hand side, you have an image. I'm going to bring that signature into this document and it's uncropped. Signature test. And this is where I want it. So I'm going to click there. So you can see the signature is big, but I'm going to go ahead and adjust it and put it right about there. I don't want to distort my signature. That's about right without hiding the date. And that's where I'm putting my signature. And because I see where dates required, I'll go ahead and click text. And I'm going to click here where I want to place the date. I want the font size to be large, at least 14. So now I have my signature on a PDF document. I'll go ahead and save the document or save and download it. And I'll save it and download it. There it is, downloading right there. I'll right click, show in folder, and there's my download folder, some downloads, but I'll move it to the desktop so I can then make sure that I know where it is so I can send it to the person who needs the document. And that's it. I hope you learned something new. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And for all of you who are leaving comments, love it, love it. Keep them coming.